<laughs> Chow Art, Art lovers. lovers. Today, we will learn about one of the most famous artists of all time, Raffaello Sanzio, also known as Raphael. Born in Italy in the late 15th century, he became one of the leading artists of the High Renaissance. Raphael's paintings are known for their beautiful and elegant compositions, as well as their attention to detail and lifelike portrayal of human figures. Raphael was a highly talented artist and began creating amazing artwork at a young age. He learned from great artists such as Leonardo da Vinci and even got to paint special pictures for Pope Julius II. He was also a skilled architect and designer, and worked on important projects such as the Vatican Palace in Rome. Despite losing his wife and children, he continued to create beautiful art. At the end of the video, you can enjoy two jokes about Raphael. Join us, a professional artist, Pavla, curious child and our two cats, as we explore the stories behind some of the world's most famous masterpieces. We flip through the pages of beautifully illustrated books and bring the art to life in a way that's both fun and educational for kids and adults alike. And if you love art as much as we do, give us a tag in the comments section. The Sistine Madonna is a painting by Raphael, completed in 1513 and widely considered one of the greatest masterpieces of the High Renaissance. The painting depicts the Virgin Mary holding the baby Jesus on her lap, surrounded by two cherubs. The composition of the painting is elegant and harmonious, with the figures arranged in a pyramid shape that draws the viewer's eye to the focal point of the painting, the faces of the Virgin Mary and the baby Jesus. Raphael's attention to detail is evident in the painting, from the lifelike depictions of the human figures to the intricate folds of their clothing. The School of Athens is a painting by Raphael that depicts wise individuals such as Plato and Aristotle talking and learning from each other, symbolizing an ancient Greek school for intellectuals. One of Raphael's most famous paintings is Lady with a Unicorn, also known as La Donna Volata. The painting depicts a young woman, dressed in a luxurious veil, tenderly holding a unicorn in her nurturing embrace. The unicorn was believed to have magical healing powers and was often depicted in art as a symbol of purity and grace. In Lady with a Unicorn, Raphael masterfully captures the delicate beauty and serenity of the young woman and the mythical creature. The soft curves of the woman's body, the intricate details of her clothing, and the gentle expression on her face all contribute to the overall sense of grace and elegance that the painting exudes. And, and now, now, here are the two promised jokes. Why did the Sistine Madonna always look so serious? Because, because she, she had, had a lot, lot of responsibility, responsibility as one, one of the, the world's, world's most famous, famous paintings. <laughs> Why did the lady with a unicorn always look so happy? Because, because she, she had, had a pet, pet unicorn, unicorn by, by her side. side. That's all for today, art lovers. We hope you learned a lot about the amazing artist Raphael and his amazing artworks. Do you know why the Renaissance was always so lively and exciting? Because it was a time of rebirth and rediscovery. Keep rediscovering your own talents and passions, just like the artists of the Renaissance did. And who knows, you might have a Renaissance of your own. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more artastic adventures, because just like Raffle, we too like to have many admirers. If you know any jokes about artists, we would love it if you share them in the comments section below. Arrivederci! Arrivederci.